Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about cleaning my whole house. We're doing some serious cleaning today so I hope it will give you plenty of cleaning motivation. I'm also going to be completely cleaning out and reorganizing my pantry so there's so much in this video as well as some new home decor I'm going to be sharing with you guys. So I hope you're excited and if you are please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you are excited and you enjoy it at the end and subscribe. I'd love to have you guys subscribe to my channel. I do anything from lifestyle, home, cleaning, decor, dogs, pretty much anything like that you will find on my channel. So today we are going to go ahead and start off in the kitchen. I always feel like once I have a clean kitchen, then my house, I can do the rest of it. So I had a lot of dishes to do today. We had just finished a big breakfast that morning. This is Saturday when I was filming this video. So Aaron and I always like to enjoy our mornings together. So we had a nice breakfast, but now I was ready to get the kitchen cleaned up and get my day going. Moving on to wiping down all the countertops, I used my Method antibacterial spray, especially since it's still cold and flu season. I'm all about disinfecting common areas, especially countertops, because stuff gets laid on them after I go to school or Aaron brings his work things home, and we all just, always just sit them on the countertops. So I want to make sure those are nice and wiped down, especially before I start preparing food there. I'm using my Dyson vacuum, of course. Y'all know if you've been watching any of my videos lately that I am obsessed with this vacuum cleaner. It's the best thing I've bought in a long time and I use it all the time and it really just does a great job at getting all the dog hair up and it's so easy to use. I don't have to worry about plugging anything in. And for me, the battery life is awesome. I do my whole house on one charge. So I love this vacuum cleaner. I know y'all are probably sick of hearing me talk about it, but I just want you to know how much I actually love it. We have this one big piece of furniture that always gets so dusty and I literally hate dusting. It's my absolute least favorite chore to do. So I like never want to do it, but it really doesn't take long. It's just a pain. What is your least favorite chore? Mine's definitely dusting. And then I'd probably say next would be cleaning like the shower and the bathrooms. I just hate doing that. We have been getting a lot of rain, which meant a lot of mud was being tracked into the house. So I just used my Swiffer wet jet really quickly to get some of that mu those muddy paw prints off the floor. Today I really wanted to talk about my pantry and this cleaning video. 
video. It is a literal disaster. We don't have that big of a pantry at all, so it's really hard to maximize the space in here, but we're gonna try to fix it. It's just been stuffed, like stuffed in there, and then it goes all the way up, so it's got really high ceilings, but like I feel like we can't use any of that extra space just because the doorway is too small and then like that shelf is the highest shelf so I don't know I have a lot to do but I'm gonna take everything out and try to reorganize it as best as I can so we're gonna see this is just gonna be kind of fast I'm not gonna go in super detail but I wanted to include this because this has been on my cleaning list forever so I figured today is the day we're gonna go ahead and get it done I ended up taking out and getting rid of so much food that either had been expired or we just forgot was in there so hopefully now that it's way more clean and organized, we won't waste as much food. I know once I organized the fridge, which if you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below for you guys, that we have not wasted hardly any food. Like, I don't know. It's just been so much nicer and we've been able to eat what we have. And that way I only go grocery shopping when we are absolutely out of food. So highly recommend doing this. And I just used them. A lot of things are from Ikea, especially the little shelves you'll see later. Everything that I used to decorate or not decorate, organize the pantry with is from Ikea, except for some old baskets. My kitchen is now wrecked. Oh my gosh, guys, it's so bad. I don't know how much fit in this little pantry. Sorry, my dog's just not eating his breakfast at noon. And the bottom is really gross. Definitely need to vacuum all this out and clean it. There's like random chips and straws and dog food down here. But everything's cleaned out. These were used to hang up that little bread basket. But yeah, so that's just Aaron's hot sauces I'm gonna leave up there. So, like I said, we have a lot of room all the way up here, but there's no shelves, so I'm trying to think of something I can do. Not sure, but we're going to try to make the best of it and see what all we can do. So, I'm just going to slowly start going through everything. I realized, let's see how many boxes of pasta I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes of pasta. That's ridiculous. So... I'm gonna start using some containers and we're just gonna start organizing my pantry and see what we can get it to look like and hopefully it'll look a little bit nicer and I can get rid of some old food or expired food. So these white shelves right here are from Ikea and I was just going through all the cans and making sure not all of them were expired. Actually, we did have some cans that expired in 2018. I don't even know how that happened, but they just got pushed to the back and they got forgotten. So I'm getting rid of all the ones that have expired, but luckily only like three or four had. I'm gonna be organizing all my pastas. I am a pasta addict, so I have way too much. So I'm gonna be putting those in containers and then as well as just organizing some stuff into these baskets like popcorn, um, there's some breakfast bars in there, Aaron's tuna packets we keep in there too. So just anything around the house that you have like extra baskets, I use them to organize things like my pantry with. You will see me use this label maker a lot. I love it. It was only like 10 bucks on Amazon. Cannot recommend it enough. It's a vintage label maker. I love it. And I label everything now <laughs> that I have it. So it just looks really cute on these containers. I mean, obviously I can see what's in them, but it just makes me happy to use my label maker. Everything's cleared out. I know exactly what we have and we can actually eat what we have and I still have so much space left over So I'm so happy. I took the time to do this and it really was worth it Sometimes 
see me as your enemy or see me as your friend It is 19 months since I was there and held you in my hand It is 18 since I told you and you took away my name Now when you saw me, you turned away your head Okay guys, so I wanted to get y'all's opinion on my new pendant lights. I just reused the actual cords and everything and just put a new shade on this one and that one. So they're matching, but this one's way bigger than even the light I used to have up here. So I don't know. I'm trying to decide if I like it or not. Like I like it. So I wanted to get you guys, your guys' opinion and just see what you think. They're really affordable. Like the actual pendant for the huge one was only 30 39 or I can't remember. I think it was $40 for the big one. And then for the small one, it was only $19.99. So I really, really like this one here. And I just put it on the cord that was already here. And I don't like that cord. It's like black and white, but it's fine for now. But I don't know if this one is too big or if I need to just get something different. So let me know what you think, because if not, I'll return it. And then I'm going to show you a few other things that I picked up yesterday. Okay, this area is a wreck because of the next piece I'm about to show you. But I picked up these baskets for under here. And because I needed something that was shorter, but now I think these are too short because I want to be able to like throw junk in there or like shoes and slide it under there and nobody will be able to see it. And these were kind of expensive. They were $20 a piece, which I feel like is kind of high. So I might end up taking those back and see if I can get something just a little bit taller. I really like the basket itself, but for this purpose, I'm not sure if it's like what I, exactly I want. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about those as well. Okay, this is the thing I'm so excited to show you guys. I picked up this new piece from Hobby Lobby. This used to have this storage little thing here. It was just like really cheap from Walmart and I got this because it has three drawers and then two shelves behind the sliding barn door and it fits the space perfectly so I want to go ahead and start styling this and put some stuff in it so we're gonna go ahead and do that but I wanted to show you guys it was hundred and seventy something dollars I think all their furniture is 30 percent off so it was the cheapest one I could find for this style and it didn't have good reviews online though so I'm kind of taking it with caution, but the only thing that people had to say that was bad about it was that the drawers didn't work, but I checked all these and all these drawers work and they're fully functional. So I really like it and we're going to play around and style it a little bit right now and then I'm going to clean up this area and decide about those baskets. Okay, for now, I just put a picture of me and Erin in here. I absolutely love these frames. A friend gave them to me, and I love them. They're from Walmart. And then just a little plant and my lamp. And then I haven't changed that litter board out since Christmas, obviously. So I'm going to change that out. And now I'm going to go ahead and put some stuff in these drawers. So like shoes or things I need, like my umbrella that I can grab when I'm walking out the door. So I ended up taking those baskets back to Ikea. I just didn't feel right about spending $40 on them when it, they didn't even fit the space that I needed perfectly. And I just decided to use these ones that I've already had um, that were in that other shelving unit and stick them under the bench and they work just fine. I can throw my shoes in them so I didn't have to spend an extra $40. today I decided it was time to finally clean out all my pans so I had some really old ones that just needed to go so I got rid of two or three of my pans and then I vacuumed out the little area because it had a lot of crumbs down in there
I love the way my little entryway turned out with my welcome home sign and my new piece from Hobby Lobby. It's now so cute. So I wanted to show you guys a few of the cleaning products I picked up at Target. I got laundry sanitizer. I've heard such good things about using it to prevent cold and flu. And you just toss a little bit in and it's supposed to get rid of all the germs in your laundry. I got a new pan because obviously I got rid of a bunch. So I needed a new one. And then this new method dish soap. I'm really excited to try as well as one of those hair things you get out of the drain. I don't know. If you have curly hair, you can totally relate. So now it's time to clean the bathroom. I take a bath almost every night and I usually wash my face and my makeup off. And some reason, like my makeup stays on the tub. So that's what that like ring around the tub is. So I had to clean that. And then I was gonna wipe off all of our countertops and just go ahead and clean the whole bathroom while I was doing it. I finally switched out my winter wreath for my spring one. I know it's not spring quite yet, but I felt like I needed to change it up. So here's an overview of my house at night with my new pendant lights. I think I'm going to keep them. I really do like them. I just wanted to make sure they weren't too big or too overwhelming for the space. But that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing this clean with me, some new home decor and organizing my pantry. I really hope you guys will subscribe and I hope I will see you here in my next video.